Let's do it. Armando Baycott, Ebenezer Dewana, NC State controls, and off we go from Chapel Hill. Manic can stroke it, and he starts the score. Manic with the quick trigger threes. Here's Jericho Helms. You think he is, if not one of the keys, maybe the absolute key for NC State. I think he is because I think there's a mismatch for him. I think he's too quick for Manic to, to guard on the perimeter. He is so electric and exciting to watch. Scores at all three levels. He doesn't lack confidence. Jay Davis knocks it down along two. To Quavion Smith, he split at the line. Davis gets it over the timeline. Carolina's going to have to deal with NC State pressure. They can turn you over. Getting in the lane, driving here, looking out, kicking out for three to his backcourt mate. He's controlling his nerves right now. So far, controlling the rhythm and tempo of this game. I expect him to come out and play well today. Davis missed both. He had made 19 of his last 21 at the line. No foul on Casey Morsell's drive, but it stays with the pack. Rotating over. They need to just kick that out. They're drawing a lot of attention. If they if you see that, DeWan is wide open underneath the basket. One of the things about a freshman that are driving you, you know, drive me insane as a coach. Again, he's so dynamic, but he makes freshman mistakes. Love hits another. His second three. UNC start. We're expecting to be a Mondo Baker, but it's the guard play. A block from Black. And these NC State drives. They're playing with a lot of energy on the defensive end. Smith knocks it down. Unafraid. Got a shot block. There's not many guys like this young man in the league, regardless of freshman or sophomore or any flat position player. So Leaky Black hits a three. You forced to help on Armando Baycott. He was the guy that they were leaving open in. If he's going to knock down threes, you're going to have a hands for tonight. Helms with a response for State. Dewan is doing a really good job of fighting for post position, pushing uh, Armando off the glass. Love to the rim. He finishes and the foul. Out of the North Carolina timeout, they get it into Baycott and get it over midcourt. This pressure is giving Carolina trouble. As we see, it's Thomas Allen with the steal. Baycott with the block. NC State from the bench that can help produce Cam Hayes. Yeah, 10 and a loss to Notre Dame Wednesday. Here's Dewana, now the starting center as he's been all season. Outside of Kentucky's off their shooter. There's Sebron in the open floor, off the miss, and Sebron scores. Smith off the ball screen in the mid-range. He's so good. He's so fun to watch. He's so fun to watch. He told us last weekend he gets the confidence from his father. He has always instilled it in him, and he is fearless when he steps onto a court. It's infectious. You watch him play, and you see it. It's just contagious. He, he's, he's fearless. Lightly edited for clarity. <laughs> Midway through the first half, Carolina by 10 and with it. Davis! Love and Davis have 16 for North Carolina. Helms, he responds. First three for Jericho. Helms knocking down 41% this. You're talking to a guy that told his coach I've been shooting two air balls. The coach, I'm about to get hot. Don't take me out. So, <laughs> Manic. Second three for Brandon Manic. And a Kevin Keats timeout. Four from the on the arc. Manic with a block on Zebra. I've said it several times. I think they got to make an extra pass when they get there. They hadn't done a great job of finishing there. Oh, what a finish by Caleb Love. They are out here today playing themselves the next of the ball game to start. This first half has been outstanding. Manic, another seven threes for the Tar Heels. Lost his footing, missed the shot. Here comes Carolina. Caleb Love attacks, floats it. The putback for Puck Johnson is there. They're just not finishing. They got to make an extra pass. Everyone's trying to score. They're not finishing. And it's just starting to break. This young man here is so special and fun to watch. And he's gotten off to a good start. There's Manic. He's got the size. Back out, Buck Johnson. Why not? Oh, man. Eight of ten from the line. Everybody's getting in. Helms. A silent serve for a mere moment from Jericho Helms. When the best player 
the Carolinas in the post, and you, you practice all week on containing him and helping. Well, how about Jericho outside? Helms right now? He's got 11, his third three. That's the matchup you've been keying on, and a lot of opponents have when they're matched up against Manic. Herman Walton with a ninth Carolina three this half. Averages 19 a game, along with nine rebounds. Baycott back in, banging with Gibson, and scoring over the top. Three away from 1,000. Davis got to the rim. It's a 7-0 run for North Carolina. Helms triggers, knocks down another. A 4-3 this half for Jericho Helms, trying to keep the pack afloat. Just got to rely on your defense, trust your defense. It's a lot of time left. Manic spinning wow. underneath on the reverse. It's on the baseline, and Gibson can lay it in. Carolina's running. Davis with Baycott with him. Manic the trailer. Wow. Yes. Two to go first half. Helms driving. Took a lot of contact. Another block by Mondo Baycott there. Well, I don't even count his rebound until he gets to 10. We know he's getting a double-double. Like, I don't even waste my time. I, I just start counting when he gets 10. Slams one home. You got yours? I actually don't. You know, I never got one. Smith over Manic for long range. 13 for Terquadion Smith. And Baycott blocks another shot. So that is six blocks for Armando Baycott. Wow. And Manic cans one. His fifth. This is the jump shot. Here comes Turquavion Smith. Morcel. Transition three. And Carolina has to be careful here. They're starting to come out. They've come out the second half. Just pinning him in the side of the floor, and there's just nothing there. And it has completely thrown his team off. 12 threes for Carolina, tying a season high. Offensive rebound, fresh 20. Here's Delana. Banging with Manic. A kick for Smith. Corner three. Don't want to leave that young man over. Among freshmen in the country, he came in tied for second in three-point makes. He's been lethal. Davis back quick. The Superdome in New Orleans against Patrick wow. Ewing, Sleepy Floyd and company. And here today, North Carolina with all that energy behind it. 29% the last game, so it all balances out. But the biggest thing is they're defending. Right in conference, the biggest, the most points are scored that they've allowed in conference play is 68. This is a national championship caliber program. There's no rebuild here. It's just a changing of the guard and competing. Quavion Smith, his third three. He's got a game high 19 points. Ellums has some size on R.J. Davis. He's very comfortable in the mid range with his follow away. There it is. Well, he's had to be positive early on because, again, it's a, it's a good, great, great group of potential. But they started playing on the road. And we're going to see how they respond next. That Duke game coming up will be a big test for these guys. Thomas Allen with a float around the baseline for State. He had ankle surgery a couple Fridays ago. Helms a little bit out of control. Morcel found it and drops it in. You get so riled up emotionally that you just don't play your best basketball. I think that's what happened to State tonight. Big cat with the jab. Thought that ball was coming up. Look alive, Childress. <laughs> Helms, offensive rebound and stick back. Love was thinking poster. <laughs> Great move. Just didn't get a chance to finish. Helms knocks it down as fifth three. He's got 21. Both ends of the floor. He should be, there's no give up in him. You expect it though as a leader of this team. 15-3 for Carolina. This one courtesy of Caleb Love. That's prior to 1951. It was 56, I'm sorry, it was closer when Wake Forest was actually in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And it's just outstanding. You know, the, 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 you're gonna watch it with Carolina because it's, again, it's just four games. And, in a week. Great drive and finish by Helms. Big time finish from Jericho Helms. North Carolina has controlled this one all afternoon, led by 25 at halftime, and has knocked down 15 threes. 
Rolls down on Felicky Black. I think more style of play, but they don't have the outside perimeter shooting to be as consistent as you want as some of these other teams have. Contrast Styles gets them going like that. They are as, as experienced as any team in the league. And you add this freshman who's really, really talented. It could be a one and done if he wants. Johnson got it back. In terms of minutes today, not a lot of Justin McCoy. They haven't needed much defense and rebounding. I think both of those guys provide offensive spots. Watch out for this young man, Don Trish. As frustrating on the other side for NC State and the Pac fan base. Well, it's also one of the reasons they're, they're, they're going to fall to 10 and 12 and 3 and 8 in the ACC. And... Jackson Watkins and a follow <laughs> for Dewey Ferris. I was wondering who was going to be the first guy to score. Allen for three in the final 30 seconds inside the Smith Center. Really good defensively. I know NC State scored 80 points, but this game wasn't close tonight. They're defending a high level, both ends of the floor. Great job tonight by the Tar Heels. They've, they've been fun to watch.